Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Get in. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Get on the road. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's... Remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. They're 
left here, towards roads. So, you block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan? Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, you'll get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Throw it up. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. We're never gonna get there. <laughs> Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Need to get up there. Hey. Finish up here. Join us on board. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm in the rear. Ah! Get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. What did I do? There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. This is we'll have a little chat with Romeo Please. and Juliet here. Please don't this is a What's the problem here? Please. Money! Valuables! Don't Damn. do this! Please. Just give it to him, Thomas! Please! Okay! Come on. Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games! I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than Here. that, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You must make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? You show this son of a bitch when you play it around. Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money! Money! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't make me hurt you! Money now! Son of a bitch! Come on, cuff it up, people! Don't be shy! Everything you got! Let's go! I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you what is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs>
fuck's sake! to cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Gosh, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. Arthur, we've got a problem. Two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. <laughs> There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. There, unload up.
That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Easy, easy. Have this, boy.
Are you? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers. They often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, 
there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Clear the wagon, sir. Ah! Sons of bitches! Be quiet! You ain't going nowhere! I'll kill all of you! Will you just shut up back there? I'm coming in. The hero returns. Yeah.
Get up. <laughs> what? Lenny. Good morning, Arthur. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Same as usual. But we are making money. Then we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. OK. Thank you. My pleasure. Got that moonshine for you. OK, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Room here by the fire, Arthur. Karen. Hi, ladies. Hi. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Okay, just making sure. Sure. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Very good. We were getting low. Can't wait to taste this. Thank you, Arthur. You keep your eyes open, Bill. <sighs> Good morning, Arthur. Okay, fella. Yeah. 
There, boy. Morning, mister. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? 
Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Let's go, boy. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Masters got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me. When you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Whoa! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah.
Covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Next time. <laughs> you don't mean. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it? Could be more than we can care. Harry, and there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. No. What the hell? Come on, Arthur. Get out of there. You dumb bastards. Damn. You okay?
you okay? I think so. Keep your head down. job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. 
Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will you? Let's just... Out of here!